Okay, boys, it's all starting to come together here. We got the main frame all welded up. That main beam, that middle beam there is just uh, supported by some wood until I get the air over hydraulic jack underneath it. The other thing I spent a lot of time today on is all these different uh, components to the dies, uh, not only for mounting the dies, but also the dies themselves. Uh, lots of different parts. We've got some rectangular half inch plate. We've got two of those. We've got four half inch plate. We've got uh, four pieces of uh, half-inch square stock, uh, some 3 uh, plate, uh, some three-quarter inch square stock, and then some five-inch round bar. I'll take you through uh, how this all comes together. It might make a little bit more sense as to what each part does. The first off is uh, this rectangular plate. Three 
inch by seven and a half inch by half inch plate. And uh, I'm going to weld that one here. I'm going to weld one up here. And uh, each of these have been tapped and drilled for uh, a quarter inch uh, bolt that holds this little safety latch. And that keeps the, that'll keep the dies from flying out when it's under, you know, tons of pressure. And some hold downs for the dies themselves. And I'm going to use these half inch, half inch square stock, and I'll weld on top of those, these little 3 16 uh, by one inch by three inch uh, to form an L that will overlap the die and, and hold those dies down. I have another one over here. Another piece of 3 16 and so that will together form uh, sort of a an area that you can slide the die in. You can set this up, slide the die in, and uh, that'll hold that die in place. Uh, whatever's here, I'm going to build up here on this upper beam. And then, like I said, you can put the dies in. The dies are half inch, so they match and should fit slide right in there nicely like that and then you can build the dies to whatever uh, the thing about the size of the dies is uh, a friend of mine uh, his name is Lawrence he's uh, on the ch he has a channel called Peapotty one and uh, he's made one of these did a terrific job and one of the things that uh, I've gone back and forth with him on is he said keep the dies small because they do drag a lot of heat out of uh, whatever you're forging uh, and so and, and the smaller ones seem to be not only they don't, they don't draw as much heat, but, they, but, but they're more effective in moving the metal. So I'm going to keep these small, maximum 5 eighths here for the round stock. Uh, for the square stock, I'm going to go up to a maximum of 3 quarter inch. So that's it. Uh, those are how the parts all come together. And whatever's here, I'm going to have to mirror uh, that up here. Listen, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe, so we can keep, continue to keep you updated on our progress. And uh, you have a great... Uh, Great day, and uh, we'll be back again here soon. All right, thanks, guys. Woo!